what is going on guys it is Daniel back with another video and we are here playing Fortnite once again and today I'm actually gonna be talking about uh, crafting in this game and weapon schematics and resource collecting and all that fun stuff that has to deal with the crafting system and how it works now when I first started playing this game I was super confused on how the crafting system worked it didn't really make sense to me so I decided I'd make this video to help anybody who doesn't really understand how it works now, I did try to make this video once earlier, and my recording software kind of messed up, so I'm redoing this now, but that means that I don't actually have a schematic to upgrade. In my video that I did that no longer exists, I upgraded this this uh, Reaper Scythe here. Um, now that I can't actually upgrade it, because I don't actually have the, the weapon XP, but I'm still going to make this video because it's a, you don't need to see it be upgraded to understand what's going on. So I have a bunch of two-star items, a bunch of one-star items here, and these are only schematics, all right? So this is what I can craft. And crafting in this game is very important because when you craft something, not only is it going to do more damage than your other things that you just find around in the game, but it will also be crafted at full durability, unlike the weapons that you find in game that have like a quarter of their durability and don't last long at all and it's just kind of annoying sometimes. So that's why crafting is the big thing that you want to get into in this game. And also you can just, I mean, this gun right here, this is probably my favorite weapon right now. It's got, it's got a ridiculous DPS on it, its stats are pretty good, and it's just amazing. I've yet to find a weapon that's better than this just walking around in the world. So that's why you kind of want to get into crafting as soon as possible. So what I did with this is that I went through and I leveled it up as uh, as you normally would with a schematic. So when you see when I hit level up, uh, the damage increases. So it's a 391. You level it up, it's at 403. Um, and then these are your perks that you get for each level. So if I go to something that I have one star, like this for example, you can see that at level 5 this gets crit chance, at level 10 it gets damage, at level 15 it gets heavy attack energy cost, at level 20 it gets more damage, and then at level 25 this is one of the uh, nice ones because it changes the damage type to water, which later on in the game there's elemental things that can kill you. So, and then you go to the crafting thing, and this is what it takes to craft. Now, this is very important. So, this right now, where it stands, takes planks, stringy twine, active power cell, and copper ore. Alright? Now, if you get this to level 10, uh, if you level it up all the way to 10, it will still only take 20 plank, 30 stringy, uh, stringy twine, 1 active power cell, and 11 copper ore. But here's the kicker. Once you evolve it to the second star, so like these ones up here that I have, so we'll just click on this one because this is the one I, I did earlier. You can see that the crafting for this, I know it's not the exact same item, but you can see that the crafting for this takes more rare resources. For example, this simple mineral powder, which is more rare than the regular mineral powder. Silver ore, which this would normally be copper, but you can see that this has a uh, uh, silver before the actual name of it, and all of these do. Level 2 is silver, uh, and level 1 is copper. So the, the level 1 stuff takes copper to make, and these ones take silver to make and that's the big difference there now this is very important because if you go ahead and if I go to upgrade this guy which I have at level 20 out of 20 so I can evolve him I actually can't because I don't have the uh, the node for it in the skill tree but and I don't have the resources I need a bunch of weapon schematic XP and pure drops of rain but the important thing is is that if you look at what it takes to craft now you can see that it, it takes stuff that I've never even seen before like I've never I've never gotten these or anything like that. Java is always interrupting. Anyways, um, these resources are all stuff that I've I've never seen before. I've never seen that before, and I've never seen that before. So that's why it's important that you need to check what it takes before you upgrade it to make sure that you know where to find those resources or you have those resources on you. Okay? So that's pretty much it with leveling up schematics and stuff like that. Um, now, if you come over here, uh, for some reason, when they did the uh, the UI of this main screen, they didn't actually put in a spot to see your backpack. And I don't really understand why. Um, I understand why they only let you craft weapons in-game, because it kind of it feels right. But I still feel like you should be able to see your backpack and your resources. Like, if I click on resources, this is different types of resources than what... I have in game 
So, uh, that I don't really understand why they haven't done anything like that. And then also, real quick, I also wanted to talk about uh, how to actually get these to two star and stuff like that. You actually have to first go into your skill tree, and for two star, you have to get these three right here for their respective types of weapons. This is ranged weapons, this is traps, and this is melee weapons. And then as you go into this more, you can see here's shotguns, here's swords and axes, here's pistols, this is blunt weapons, and then you have explosives and assault rifles. So you kind of have to um, put in a lot of points in this skill tree just to level up your things to level 3. And then and then in skill tree 3, there is your level 4, which I don't even want to get into right now. <laughs> it's so far away. <laughs> but um, yeah, that is what you need to make sure to get these before you upgrade to level 3. Alright. Now, uh, everything else that I wanted to talk about is actually going to be in-game because I obviously don't have a crafting menu here. So I'm going to jump into a game real quick, and I will be back when I'm in there. Alrighty, so I'm back here at my Plankerton uh, Storm Shield here, and uh, this is where I decided I'm going to... And I just don't join a game, and then I'm sitting there while my teammates are actually doing something, so... Um, real quick, if you look in here, you can see all of my weapon schematics here on the right side and everything that I can build, and everything that I can't build, like that one right there. Okay? And then if you go to my melee weapons, you can see that I can build some of this stuff too. And then this is currently what is in my backpack here. So those are the two weapons that I have in my backpack, and then these are the three melee weapons that I have, and I'm actually going to recycle those two, because I only use these three. And then I have, uh, this is all of my resources that I have. I have quite a bit of resources. And then this is my trap tab where I keep all my traps, which again, I'm going to do the exact same thing and recycle them because backpack space in this game is something that is very important and most of mine is reserved to the amount of all the resources that I have here. So anyways, back to crafting. So now this in game is where you have to do all of your crafting. You can't do any of it uh, in the other menu like I said earlier. So since this is the one that I was talking about the most, or that since this is the one that I wanted to do in this video, I'm going to go ahead and craft this guy. So you can see the crafting materials that were uh, at the other screen there, everything that is needed, but at this time you have numbers next to it to show how much of each of this resource I actually have. Now, I don't know why they don't do that in the other menu so you can see if you can even craft this weapon, but I don't know. It's, a, it's an early access game. I'm assuming they're going to add something like that in later. At least I hope they are. So you can see here I have the silver and everything like that to craft this weapon. So now this part's just really easy. You just double click it, it uses the resource, and you start crafting. You can see the little uh, the little crafting um, silver reaper scythe there down at the bottom. And then once it's crafted, it pops above you and pops into your inventory. Alright, and then you can just drag it into here, and now you have your new weapon. Now, if you, uh, if you look at it, my durability down there is at full durability because this was a crafted item. This was something that I personally crafted, so it will always be at full durability once you craft it. Now, another weapon, um, this one I didn't pick up, this one I crafted, obviously, but if you look at the durability down, uh, I can't really point at it, but down towards the bottom, actually, if I do, it's down, it's down here. If you look at the durability bar down there, you can see that it's only about a quarter, and that is where just about where uh, if you pick up an item that's where it will be so these were all crafted so their durabilities are a little bit higher um, so that is actually just just how the the crafting in this game works it's a little bit different it's weird that you have to be in game to actually craft any of these items uh, I wish that they had it so you could craft in that main menu but I mean I'm not a dev on this game so I can't really make that decision uh, but yeah, the, the main things that I want you to take away from this video is that um, when you're upgrading your star level on your items, make sure that you have the resources to actually get it. So like Silver Ore, I don't have much of it, but if I was to upgrade this weapon, I don't even, I've, I've yet to find the other item that, that was uh, a tier higher. So you definitely need to be careful about that. Um, and then... Let me see here. 
yeah, I think that was gonna that was it. I wanted all I want to talk about about crafting, and then I wanted to talk a little bit about actually like inventory management and stuff like that. So while you're like running around and gathering resources and all that fun stuff, you'll notice that your inventory gets full really, really, really quickly. And that is because of all the random stuff that you pick up. And you saw earlier that I just recycled those things because they were things that I weren't using. And then also one of your big issues is this. So if you look in here, I have almost three stacks of this stringy twine. And then if you scroll down here, I have way too much rough ore and way too many planks. And now I, I use those for traps and stuff like that. And that's why I keep them all in my inventory. But if you don't have, if you haven't invested into... Um, points into your backpack space this here is your next best friend your storm shield if you go into your storm shield there's actually a storage menu where you can store some stuff now you can see I have some resources already in here and I actually only have one more slot that I have unlocked right now but uh, that's all in the skill tree to get more backpack space and more um, more storm shield space so I highly recommend you put you put points into that because these crafting materials sometimes it's good to just have a bunch of them so that you if you need a weapon you can craft it whenever you need it and all that fun stuff all right so I'm back here and I did want to talk about one uh, last thing here that I didn't talk about and that was upgrading your survivors so if you can see here I've got a bunch of survivors here that are ready to be upgraded uh, but I really haven't upgraded them uh, that much and I actually don't even think I have the resources right now to upgrade them But if I go to my squads here and uh, for example this mythic lead that I got if I go and I want to upgrade this guy So or girl, I already have her 10 out of 10 which in, uh, Increases the amount of damage that you get for the uh, squad itself So if I go to upgrade and view evolution, I don't have the pure drops of rain But other than that I'd be able to do that and upgrade her then to level 20 so this upgrading is not just for weapon schematics, it's for your survivors and everything like that. And then if you also go and look at your defenders, so like uh, you can also upgrade these guys too. You can see they have the same thing, level 5. Uh, weapons have 12% chance not to consume ammo, increase maximum shield, increase weapon, uh, magazine size, all that fun stuff. And these all have those, those kind of stats like that and you can upgrade them to do more. But it looks like you have to use hero XP for these guys which I don't recommend. And then also back to heroes here because these are technically upgradable type schematics even though you can't craft a hero necessarily. <laughs> so you can also upgrade these guys too. I'm actually probably going to throw a couple levels into my legendary assassin here to get her fully leveled up uh, because this is actually a class that I use. But yeah, that is how the crafting system in this game works. It's, it's very confusing at first. Uh, it took me like a day to figure out how everything works how to actually craft things, which wasn't good because I was just using broken down weapons and it was not a fun time. So once you actually get into this and you get some good schematics and, and you get the resources that you need for those schematics, it really works out in your favor. You'll start getting weapons that just do ridiculous amounts, ridiculous amount of damage. This does 2k DPS or almost 2k DPS. Um, so I highly recommend getting into crafting and stuff like that uh, as soon as you possibly can. I'm sorry that you guys didn't get to see me actually level up this one, but then, like I said, my recording software kind of messed up, and I thought I was recording when I wasn't recording, and so, yeah. Anyways, I think that's going to be it for this video. If this helped you in any way, I would really like it if you liked the video or subscribed, and uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.